Hi friends, Sarah here from graceinmyspace.com. Welcome back. Today, we are gonna decorate the outdoors for fall. Now, I have a very small front stoop. I wouldn't call it a front porch front stoop and so I'm gonna show you how we can jazz this up really easily for fall but then we're gonna walk around because I have a large property make sure and check out my property tour and show you some of the other places that I'm gonna get decked out for fall with really simple pieces anybody can do it like literally if you can pick up a pumpkin then you can do this let's get decorating this is my front stoop I always do some very basic elements I have two layered outdoor rugs, one that spans the entire base and then one that is just your doormat. And then I usually flank each door with a fern for summer or pumpkins for fall or Christmas trees for the winter season, whatever the case may be. But it's a really simple equation. Door, mat, either side, decor of some kind, and you're done. So this fall, it's actually been really mild here in Michigan. My ferns are still looking really lush and full and green, and so I'm gonna leave them there. In years past, that has not been the case, and I'll just take them out and replace them with a stack of pumpkins or something like that. But this year, I like the green. We're gonna add to it and spruce it up a little bit so it feels more like autumn. I picked these up from our local pumpkin lady. That is what I call her. She sells pumpkins. She's the sweet old lady and her husband. They grow their own garden, then they put them out for 50 cents a piece. These were 10 cents a stock. I love my pumpkin lady. She's just the best. each stage and say look you can be done now but you can also keep going I think that this is so easy for fall decor it's so easy to do on the front porch you just layer until you don't want to layer anymore and sometimes that means one giant pumpkin sometimes that means more that means more sometimes that's okay too let's build flat pumpkin Slightly smaller pumpkin, cherry on top. <laughs> Not like that. There we go. Now you've got a pumpkin stack. Let's keep going, shall we? Now ideally, you want to be able to still walk in your front door. So, yeah, we're good. We're good here. And now we have a very easy to decorate fall front porch as long as you're not carrying a 60 pound pumpkin. I added in some lanterns here and we're good to go. And of course you always should layer in mums. They're so pretty. I actually stopped buying mums except for one pot a year though because I end up killing them. I just don't water in the fall. It's, I don't know, it's just me. But one pot will work wonders as soon as all these babies open up. It's gonna be such a pretty dark red when it opens up. Got a good pop of color. Now if you're not a huge pumpkin fan, there's always dried hydrangeas. So pretty. All right, now let's talk about the planter situation. My petunias have seen better days. I'm gonna rip them all out and we're gonna create kind of a cute little pumpkin stack. Super easy, like I said, if you can pick up a pumpkin, you can make this. These little boo pumpkins are the best. They go everywhere and anywhere. I'm not gonna do it right now, but what I should have done is either layered some corn stalks or some of that straw stalk underneath up here first, cause then it would have been overflowing and it would be cute, but I didn't do it. So just imagine that I did. Now let's imagine that I've put enough around here so that it's like, so that's how I want it to look. All the way around, It'd be super pretty. That's next on the list. So we have a lot of outdoor spaces on our 38 acres and I don't decorate for all of them. It's just too many spaces, but I think that there's a lot to be said for just placing a little bit of festivity here and there. A really simple pumpkin stack can go a long way just to make space feel a little bit more like fall. 
Of course, outdoor pillows are always awesome so that you have a little bit more comfort as well for your guests. And then use up old pots that have greenery in them that's kind of gone sour. This lavender is no longer good looking, but it creates a little bit of filler and you pop some pumpkins in there and you have an autumn pot. All right, now in this outdoor space, we have a dining table down on our lower patio. I just reused those hydrangeas. I know, you're gonna literally see them everywhere in this video because they're so pretty, but they're gorgeous and it's such an easy statement to make. Put it on the middle of your table, pop a couple pumpkins next to it, and you're done. I always love to have blankets available if it's needed. Right now, today is a beautiful day, but fall is definitely coming here in Michigan and we'll be needing those blankets in our outdoor spaces. Over here, I've taken out my mosquito plant that was literally falling over dead and I just piled some pumpkins back into the existing planter. You don't have to go buy new, you just reuse what you use for your summer decor. If you're entertaining, one really fun thing to do, if you have a place where you can go buy cheap pumpkins, get a wheelbarrow, fill it up with little teeny pumpkins like this big, and let the kiddos come over and take a pumpkin. They can decorate it with craft paint, with markers, with you know the push-in thingies, anything that's really easy, super simple crafts for kids to do with pumpkins. You just do it all outside, the mess remains outside, and everybody is having fun. And lastly, we'll look at the space in our back deck where we just have some really comfortable seating, cozy blankets, comfortable pillows, a little touch of fall with some mums and pumpkins. We've got ambient lighting with string lights down below and it just creates this really cozy atmosphere that's wonderful to enjoy in the evenings. I hope you've enjoyed this little fall tour of our outdoor spaces. We have a lot more land that I don't do anything with because there's simply not enough to go around. Honestly though, once the trees change, nature does it all on its own. I don't need to decorate, it's doing it for me. Thanks for stopping by today. Make sure and subscribe, hit the bell, and stay tuned for more to come.